In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to snap together pieces of text and then center all of them in your After Effects composition. We're going to do this with some free After Effects tools that I made, and to make it even easier, I'm going to give you the final project file. This will allow you to use multiple text styles in an essential graphic for Premiere, which Premiere currently doesn't support, or you can just use it to speed up your After Effects workflow. Okay, to set this up, we have two pieces of text and they're left justified and have their anchor point on the bottom left. And I'm gonna add my effect text buddy to the second one. And I'm going to snap it to the layer below. Now, how do we center justify them as if they were one text layer on the screen? Well, to do that, I've created another tool and it's kind of in its early stages, but I wanted to release this because I know this is a common pain point that a lot of After Effects users and Premiere users run into. So I'm going to add this text buddy center tool to the first one. And before we use this, we need to make sure that the position dimensions have been separated because we just want it to take over our X position. And for some reason, After Effects isn't smart enough to figure this out, even though in the preset, it's created that it's only supposed to change the X. And under the text buddy center tool, we'll see that layer one is this layer, and we'll need to tell it which layers that it needs to look at to center. So we'll give it the second layer, and we'll tell it that last is our second layer. And now the whole thing is centered on the screen. And you can see that the centering tool supports up to 10 layers. Okay, so now I'll come over here to Essential Graphics, and I'll start creating a new one. And I'll call it First Name, Last Name, and I'll add the source text into the Essential Graphic for both names. And they have formatting options so that they can be changed in Premiere. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new void, and this is a null replacement but you could also create a new null object and set the position to zero, zero. And I'm going to go ahead and move this text down to the middle of the screen and parent both to the void. So now if we adjust the X position of the void, we can offset where our text is centered to. In other words, we can change it from the center of the screen to anywhere else. So I'll add the X and Y positions of the void to the essential graphics panel, and I'll call these offset. And one of the neat things about using a void as opposed to a null is that if you're doing your work in After Effects, you can use these offset options in the effect controls. And I'm going to set it to half the comp width and height. And this becomes a really nice visual representation of where the text will be centered to. And this works because the position of the void is still zero, zero, as you can see by the anchor point up here. And then you can move this around. Another example that you'll see in the project file, I set this one up with my tool text lasso so that we only have one input text. And you'll see it's a guide layer here, so it won't render, but we could also hide it and just edit it here in the essential properties. Now, these text layers are set to divide at the forward slash. And this might be a nice option in Premiere so that we're only typing out our text once and we just use a slash and tell it where we want it to divide. But just be aware that if you add the source text with formatting options, we'll get this warning, letting us know that since text lasso took over the source text properties, if we edit the source text, nothing will happen. But this still might be useful so that you have options to change the formatting in Premiere. And this is one final example that I've included in the project file. I have 10 words buddied up with each other. I'd recommend deleting the ones that you don't want to use, but hopefully this can give you a jump start on your own projects. I know I went over this quickly, but feel free to look through the project files and use these as a starting point yourself, and you might not need to dig into all of this. In the description, I've linked videos that I've made to my tools Text Buddy and Text Lasso, as well as Void, made by Battleaxe, which is a great tool and I reviewed it. So make sure to check out those videos and maybe this video will then make a little more sense to you. But hopefully you don't even need to dig into all that. You can kind of use the project files to get you going.